My name is Keith Strickland. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Well, as far as I can remember, and I can remember back to when I was like three or four years old, I've always loved music. My parents always had music in the home and uh, they had a variety of music. At 19 years old, I found myself, I was at West Georgia College, now it's West Georgia University, so shout out to West Georgia. I was 19 years old at this time and um, by myself, really, I didn't know anybody at the school. And I uh, was dealing with a um, significant amount of depression because you could be in a crowd of people and still be alone. And that's how I felt, like I was, I knew people and things of the nature, but I just felt alone. And I know one night, this guy had told me, he said, you know, God has something for you. Lord, what are you talking about? And so I was going to come every night and things of that nature. Then the last night, they had this lock-in, lock-in with Jesus, you know. And so all night long, praise service. And I found myself, and I was there. And they were seeing that someone would give a message. Seeing, give a message. And so by the time uh, the fifth person got up and he was giving this message, and I know God was using him to speak directly to me. And the last, I will never forget, before he ended, he said, there's someone that God's saying, he's, call, he's talking to you right now. He's saying that you need to give your life to him. He said, so get up and come on up and give your life to him. I got, I immediately, I said that he's talking to me. But then at that point, when I knew God had changed my life, I said, okay. I just love how that made me feel. And so I, I said to myself, I want others to feel the same thing that I'm feeling. And so that led me to gospel music. Yes, yes. we are on. Tea coming today. One, two, three. Time coming today. Yeah, he yeah. 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 Just turn on. Okay, the three minutes. He said he pulled it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One Accord uh, was, is actually evolved out of another band. Uh, when I was at West Georgia, some more guys in the music department, uh, we played outside of playing a marching band. Cause most of the other, all, all the other guys, we formed a band, all the other guys were music majors. They thought I was a music major, but I wasn't, I majored in business. I was just hung around the music department all the time. And so, Outside of just the marching band and concert band, the guys played, we had a, we created a jazz band. They asked me, could I play anything? I said, yeah, I play guitar. So I brought my guitar down and stuff and we call ourselves Change of Pace. So Change of Pace existed. Guys, you know, graduated from high, from school, from college. And so we kind of dispersed. A couple of us were in the Atlanta area. And so we kept it together. So we knew that God had changed our lives. You know, everybody had gotten give their life to Jesus Christ, saved and everything. It's like, we don't want to go in that direction no more. We want to go in the gospel direction. And so, but we kept the name, you know, cause and so from there, that went for a little while, then it broke up. <laughs> and so one day myself and another guy, we were together and by this time, a couple more guys, Came, came about. And so we said, well, we don't want to go back to change of pace anymore. We want to change that name. And so we were, like most bands do, just brainstorming names and things of that nature. And I think one person said, well, let's call ourselves As One. It's like, well, that, we wrote that on the list to vote on. Then somebody said something about some accord, some chord. So this guy named Matthew Aston, he's a trombone player. He said, hey, I, I'll tell you what. He said, why don't we just call ourselves One Accord? And as he said that, the moment he said that, I know this was God because the moment he said that, I had a pad that because I was writing the names down, and I wrote out the, it's the, the the writing, the spelling of the name, the one a dash c h o r d just came. I flipped it around, say, hey guys, what about this? Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. And that's how one accord came to be. My name is Bobby Henderson, and I am from Atlanta, GA. I 
I'm mainly uh, drums, percussion. I, when I was in, in, in school, I was a uh, concert musician, percussionist. So I, you know, I learned classical music so, and, and the whole realm of uh, percussions. What I think set one apart, uh, one accord apart from any other gospel group is basically the, the, the passion that we have uh, for music, music ministry, and, and just also just being, uh, being self-contained and, and doing our own writing, creativity, and uh, that's what I think uh, sets one apart, or one accord apart from. My name is Anderson McCant. Um, my nickname is Choppy, so a lot of people know me by Choppy. I'm from Miami, Florida. My first instrument was saxophone. I played alto sax. Um, when I got to high school, I began to venture off and learn because I wanted to be a, a band director. So I began to learn other instruments. So I played sax, I played trombone, trumpet, French horn, tuba, baritone horn, I played bassoon, I played clarinet, and I played flute. Getting into bass guitar, the number one person who influenced me is a man by the name of Harold Brady. I have never in my life, even up to now, I have never heard anybody play a bass like Harold Brady, ever. And um, another um, cousin of mine, Daryl Knowles, Harold and Daryl, they both played bass with a pick, but these, these guys were so incredible so incredible, and they played the bass. If, if you wanted them to rip and everything, they can do that, but they just knew how to play, and they made that thing talk without going crazy over it. So they were, they were huge influences. One other guy, he really gave me my start, um, a guy in my neighborhood, Vincent Cross. Uh, Vince, Daddy was a pastor, and Vince played guitar and bass. And at the end of my 11th grade year, instead of getting off the school bus and going home, I went to Vince's house, and Vince showed me how to put my you know, hand on the, on the neck and how to move, and he gave me the chance to learn how to play. So yeah, Vince Cross, yeah, big shout out. My name is Timothy Titus, you all yet. Those who know me well, they call me Titus. That's my middle name, uh, right out the Bible. Um, originally, I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. That's where I was born. I was not raised, but I was born there uh, in my early years. Uh, however, that's, that's where the beginning of music is. Always into music, you know, just unconsciously, you know, humming, imitating sound. So what drew me to gospel music is the way I was raised. My mother was a Christian, raised up in the church like a lot of people. I gave my life to Christ when I was 13 years old. So I just recall there was a season in my life where and I was singing all over the place, all over the metro Atlanta area. I was singing in clubs, not secular music, gospel music, my own original songs at that, um, talent shows, and winning. Sometimes being the only gospel singer and singing my own original music, and I'm hearing all these people, yo, man, that's amazing, yo, we want to we wanna sign you up, or I got this producer, and all these different opportunities that seemed to come my way never came to fruition. This is going on for 10 years, 11 years, 12 years. And then I just finally realized, well, Lord, maybe you don't want me. Maybe the same something you want me to do. Let me just focus on ministry, preaching the gospel, because that I know I'm doing. I 
I started thinking about what if I could have me a live band, you know? Because one of the hindrances, I felt like, you know, I'm doing everything by myself. I'm trying to make my beats. And I only started making beats for myself because even when I tried to make relationships with producers, our faith would get in the way. <laughs> Every time he do it, he hit the note precise. <laughs> never shot, it's never scary, flat. Like, Boom. Right? Ah. And then he's like, That's crazy. But I was looking for somebody I can, you know, work together with. Find that I tried to work with several producers, even either, either they, their lifestyle wasn't on point or they couldn't get the vision for what I needed in my musical production, because I was writing songs without tracks. Most <laughs> guys are like that, though. This dude just come right back. We can do the song again, right? This is the grace of God. About five years ago, I completely lost the ability to do any of this stuff that you're hearing. No, not no, about six, seven years ago. Yeah, man. Um, I, I thought I would never get my voice back. And that's when I started producing my own music. And um, that brought out my musicianship. I started thinking like a producer and not just a singer. Yeah, I was, it was actually, I was recording a song okay. called Mommy, I Gotta Go. And I was doing some things with my voice I wasn't accustomed to doing. Mm -hmm. Raspiness. And I didn't have a technique now. Lost my voice. And I, I couldn't get no high notes, my falsetto. Couldn't get no clear falsetto, couldn't do anything. And then maybe about a couple of years after trying to figure stuff out, trying to trying to do different vocal techniques, God told me to go on a I didn't call it a fast, he just said, Don't you eat nothing but fresh fruits and vegetables for the next two weeks. And my voice came back. Body reset. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. I started analyzing so many different aspects of music, even down to mixing. And uh, I think it prepared me to be able to complement the band that I'm in today with one accord. My name is Vincent Garnett Roseboro. I am from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, everybody there calls me Bean and, or Uncle Bean. I always had an interest in music. You know, uh, with one accord, man, I, it's, it's like, it's a lifestyle for us. Not that other gospel artists aren't, but it, I know for one accord, man, you got, first of all, you got a group of brothers um, who are all leaders, but know how to coexist together, know how to respect each other. Um, know how to respect even our audience, you know, there's no, no ego. So usually a lot of our music has come from what we call a jam session. We might come in here, everybody, everybody's plugged in, our bass player might just start playing a groove. You know, he might start playing a bass line and then our drummer will, you know, he'll join in. Somebody will fall in with some chords, you know, our sax player might fall in with something. And then somebody's going to pull out a notepad and start writing, start jotting some stuff down. So a lot of our songs, a good bit of our songs come from a jam session. each other. Um, I think that's what really keeps us together. And then we all are, you know, um, um, men of God, you know, we, we, we love God and we, we study his word. So if you, if you're living according to his word and treating each other according to his word, then you can't go wrong there. Fine. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so that's 
So everything I need in you I want. Now that we got that fourth part harmony. Y'all sound like y'all can sing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you paying, you do the hits. Yeah, because I know what I because you already have you already have that. Right. Mm -hmm. Something kind of yeah, okay. okay, let's get yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Boom. You do boom 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 boom. I'm Eugene Edward Smith, and I go by Eddie, and I'm from Meridian, Mississippi. As long as I can remember, I've been doing something with music, musically. I come from a long, long line of generations of church people, preachers and things of that sort. Um, my mom is a minister, actually. And so everywhere I go on Sunday mornings, I go to my grandmother's house, she's listening to gospel, riding up and down the road, in the car with my mom, she's listening to gospel. Like, it's just gospel became a part of me. So, I am the newest person in the band. I just joined a, a few weeks ago, a few months ago. And um, I moved, to, I recently moved to Atlanta last year, actually, in August. And um, so I moved here for a job, specifically. I wasn't moving here for music, specifically. I was on my way back from Forsyth, back to the Atlanta area. And God was like, I, like I heard a voice say, hey, why don't you door dash for a minute? Huh? Some kind of way, I ended up picking up an order at this very place, at Spud's in this very area and I drove around and I seen this very place. I was like, I wonder what that is. You know, and, and sometimes you know how the Bible says, wait on the Lord. I didn't understand that, but I waited. And a few weeks later, they had already sent me the message asking me to come and audition. I didn't see it till weeks later, but I already had been to this place around that same time. So, you know, yeah, I feel like God sent me here. Take it from that, that, uh, that, that bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Damn, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, go back. Go ahead, and you pin. What? I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to be a part of this. I've never been a part of anything like this. As I said, I, I came from a church musician background, never been a part of a group. I always wanted to. I always wanted to be, you know, a singer or something. Now I get to do both. Now I can sing, play my music, and I feel at home. Like they said, I feel like it's a brothership. My name is Daryl Bruton. I'm from the delightful city of Deland, Florida, which is a city right behind Daytona Beach, just in case nobody ever heard of it before, which a lot of people haven't. Well, before I knew it, I was in church. I was, my mother and my father, they were uh, mothers and deacons of the church. My grandfather and my grandmother, they were deacons and uh, mothers of the church, and my other grandmother was the mother of the church, so I was in church all the time. And I play the keyboards, and if you ever watch me, watch my fingers, you'll notice that I don't play like everybody else. I, most people play like the one, three, and fives. Most of the time I'll play like this, or every once in a while I'll use that finger. I never know 
<laughs> what, what's what. Yeah, so whatever is comfortable at the time to hit a note, my fingers are automatically adjust to that chord or whatever like that. I don't know how it is. And if I look at them hard enough, I'll mess up. So I just <laughs> like glance and, glance and keep going. I joined the group in 1997. Yeah, so I, I was here for a minute. And, and so, you know, it, it's amazing how God can put things together. We can't see everything that he's doing, but he's always working and it's for our behalf. A song might come to you anywhere, you know, a song might come to you anywhere. And basically it's, it's based, it's God will give you something, you know, and, and okay, he'll give you a little tune and you just sit back and, and, and see what you're going to do with it. You know, we believe in God, we believe in Jesus, and we know if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here because we look at each other in all our walks of life. We've, everybody is different, but God saw fit from different states to put us together. All right, fellas, you know, we're here because this is our dress rehearsal. Next Friday, we're doing uh, Land Alive, you know, so we're going to go through the set, make sure everything's tight. Is anything that in there, you know, we have a problem or you have a uh, area that you need to stop and go over, just stop right there. Because when the lights come on Friday, <laughs> you know, hold on, let's do over. It's live. So for those of us who, who've done it before, we know how that goes. For those of you, this is your first time, you'll have a great time. So in the meantime, let's just have a great time praising God as we always do. Uh, my name is Osmani Agonia. I'm from Cuba. Um, I play the saxophone. Um, I started the music 15 years ago. Believe me, when I play the saxophone, you uh, ask that you see the Osmani. But when I have my saxophone in my hand, it's a different Osmani. It's something special. I'm feeling strong. I feel it. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's so special when, when you play for God. You can express every single you feeling for God. My first time in one chord, um, then when I say, oh, wow, this band is amazing. They make great music. My wife, that was the father of my wife, because she told me, Steve, you stay okay, we're looking for this answer for it. You okay, I'll be there, my wife. You wanna, you, you want, uh, uh, be part of the, the one I call you. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll try. But then when I be in the practice, then talk to me, bro, it's so easy. You only be you. Uh, you, when, when you feel it, you, it's your time, you play, it's fine, it's not complicated. They, they say, oh, we don't want to change you. Shall mm. we follow you? Thank you very much for being here this morning. Thank you, yes, Lord. And as we go into this rehearsal, Father, get ready for next week. Father, we just thank you for preparing us. It's right. a vibe here, man. When we get here, it's an intimate vibe. You know, the brothers, man, sometimes we don't even rehearse, man. We'll talk, we'll pray for each other. If somebody dealing with something, we'll deal with that. The music will come later. Because we are ministers as well, as well, you know. Now, Father, once again, we just thank you. We just praise you. Yes, we just praise you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The sound is cool. I love the blend. The brothers are coming in here doing what they do. Everybody doing they, what they do. Everybody. Anderson's doing the bass, Keith is doing his guitar, Bobby's doing his drums, we got my brothers doing their keyboards, and everything is just flowing together, and I'm loving it. We just want to get everything together, and we just want to make sure that our sound is compatible and that we know what we're doing at all times. We can have a great performance. You know, we can play this music in our sleep, but, you know, I know when I come with these brothers, I got to bring it. So, you know, you got to be on top of your game. Well, my hopes is really, um, I think the, the new guy, we trying to, I just want to make sure he good. Uh, <laughs> he just jumped in the band, doing real good. And, uh, you know, just making sure he's up to speed and he's comfortable. Is he, if he's comfortable, man, we're going to be great. 
It's my first time. I'm the newest one, so it's my first time performing live. A lot of butterflies, even right now. I'm always, I always have butterflies, but when I get on stage, all of that goes away. I've been playing professionally about 42 years. I still get nervous before every time I get ready to play, but I love it because they keep me on my toes. You know, I just, I know I can't relax. And, and if I relax with them and if I don't bring it, <laughs> they go bring it. So I know I gotta be right. Yeah, we good, and I'm liking the sound, I'm liking the vibe, the energy, everybody's on one accord like we supposed to be. All right, guys, we, ain't gonna march. we can run it from the top. We can run it from all the way from the top. Now that we've been through it, now that everybody warmed up, let's run it from the top. In a little bit, in a little bit, in a little bit, we gonna be doing it for him and for y'all. Tune in. Um, I'm pretty calm. The anxiousness is creeping in a little bit, but I'm, I'm okay. I okay. feel pretty good about it. This is my first time I've never been on TV. <laughs> I'm expecting a little bit of the same as we were in practice, but just a little enhanced because it's a bigger room. And I'm you know, not really sure how the sound is going to be, but we'll see. I'm the floor director here. I'm just going to run you guys through the show just so everybody knows what's going on. And you know. So your host this evening will be Ken McNatt. So he'll open up the program and introduce your first song. Which I Don't Know The Reason will be the first song. After that, we'll, uh, a member of the group will introduce the next song. We know we're ready. And that, that creates, you know, we kind of relax. But we're out there to just do what we love, doing it for God. And, and, and we just, you know, just go from there. So there's a beat where you're, you're talking, introducing the next song, and it will go right into In You, I Find. After that, we'll have a brief 16 minute interview. You guys are just gonna be sitting on the pews that you were originally sitting on, relaxing. Um, after me... that, we'll go to, I'll get you guys back on the music set. So I'll be queuing you up and down. You don't have to worry about when you're um, going on. Faith Thing is the next song. And then we'll have another 15 minute interview. After that, or during that interview, the last two minutes, I'll get you guys back up on the set to sing your last song, which is I Made a Vow. And then we'll close the program. Okay, well, that was pretty much it, you guys. All right. Um, <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> yes. Right, this is going to be a fun show. I, I love our music because it's, like I said, it's, come, it, it's all original. It comes from a place of life experience, you know, and I'd like to think that something that God gives me is going to bless someone else, you know. You, Father, you we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For enabling us to get here, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. To do what we do, Father, we ask your mercy, your grace. Father, that we accomplish this. Father, that we do everything for your glory. Yes. Father, that we do it for the edification of the people. God, let the people be blessed. There's a love in this band. It's a, it's a brotherhood, it's a fellowship, it's mainly the love of God. I mean, these men in this band, these guys are really committed to God. And they all are committed to the gift of music that's in them. Enable us to sit up a worship and a praise, Father, yes. that you will receive yes, as a sweet smell and a savor, yes. Lord God. Father, yes. we thank you for this opportunity. Whatever you're doing with it, Lord God, we just thank you that we're a part of it. Before we even play one note, when we're still off in the wings, we pray. We pray and we pray not only for God to use us, but we pray for the people to receive what God has given us to give to them. We pray that their hearts will be open to receive it. We take authority over any kind of spirit, demonic spirit who may try to hinder them from hearing it or receiving it. And we just pray that they be set free that whatever it is that God has for them to receive, that they will receive it. And so then when we come out, it's like we're just focused. Father, we trust you as we get ready to go out there and yeah. do what 
you would have us to do, Lord God. Yeah. We do it for your glory in Jesus' name. Be glorified. Yeah. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The wisdom that is vested in this band, you know, we have two pastors in this band. I'm one of them. I would get to our player, Keith. He's another. And we have learned the respect and reverence for one another as brothers. We've learned the respect and reverence for one another in our, in our ministries. And we work together to make sure that God's purposes is glorified in everything that we do. And I want us, I want the people to see what that looks like. And I'm confident that even on a day we're not paying attention, if the cameras were on to us, even in our weaknesses, they would see us in sincerity working out our salvation with fear and trembling. Welcome, welcome to Atlanta Live. We're going to have a great time tonight. You have a treat in store. I'm telling you that. Right now, we've got a great music ministry team that's going to bless you. One Accord is coming to sing for us. I don't know the reasons. Let them bless your life. Every member in this band truly serves the Lord. And people, from what I have learned, they're not accustomed to knowing what that looks like. When I first got into the band, I realized that I had to learn the band's music and be and 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 make sure that my because this band has been around longer than I close to maybe as long as I've been alive. I don't, I don't, maybe not as long, but it's it's been around a long time. I'm again, I'm brand new getting in this thing, so my contribution to the band up to this point is to utilize my gifts to enhance what has already been established. I think once they the, the masses get a hold to uh, the way we create the, our music and just being real, not trying to put on, you know, be like somebody else and just being real, taking it back to those days where, you know, it's like the music is written from a, a testimony and it's something that we live. And it's something no, that we I don't know the reason out. why he loves you, but I'm so glad that he does and he loves us all unconditionally. And if you just trust God and have faith in God, you can have anything you need. You don't have to want for anything, whether it's love, joy, peace of mind, whatever it is, Lord in you, I find. With us coming from different backgrounds and everything and bringing it together, we get to hear a sound we don't hear with a lot of the people. We have a very unique sound. And, and it's probably the main thing that keeps me in this band. I don't want to lose because I play with a lot of people and have never had that energy and that vibe and, 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 and the way that thing come together with these guys. So even since I've been in this band, man, I've turned a lot of people down. I've walked away from a lot of money, but I'm like, it's something we got here that I've never had in my 40 plus years of being a, a professional musician. I ain't never had it. And it's like, I, I ain't walking away from this.
everybody else coming from different walks of life and different stuff and playing different kinds of music and everything like that. So we just, we welcome that, you know, because this is something new. We, we will have music forever because it's eight of us. So we just think of it like a pie. Each person has one eighth. If you do your one eighth, and don't try to bleed over in that one eighth, just do your, your part and everybody do their part. We're going to have a, a sweet pie. Hey, it's a faith day. There's real love because we have been there for each other through thick and thin. I mean, I'm talking about marriages, divorce, been through it through uh, births and deaths. So we've really been there for each other and we have that love for one another. And that, that, that just binds you together even closer in that respect. We respect one another too, not only as musicians, because in my opinion, every guy in this band are like A1 musicians. They could be playing with anybody. But the thing is, we respect not only each other as musicians, but as fellow men. We respect one another truly because we truly love one another. That love, you can't have the love of God in your heart. You can't love each other, you know, like, or to be talking about God or singing about God. And I have that true love for one another. And it, it, it shows. It shows not only can we feel it, but when we, you know, when we're out live, more of our people can, can, can see that. see something special when we play together. It's because it's God inside, you know. That is, no, not only Steve or Bobby or Anderson and Daryl Beans. No, no, you see a God together. Well, I made a vow. My heart, soul, and mind. Come and gone, you know. Everything. I'm. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving because this is where God told me to told me to be. And if you told me, and I, you, I don't care who you are. You know God's voice when He's talking to you. You can play crazy if you want to. But He told me this is where He wanted me to be, and I've been here ever since. I don't let anything come. We have rehearsals on Saturdays. I don't schedule anything. I would block the whole Saturday out just to make you know. I don't want any distractions. We have to be here, and that's what we do. And the more we get together, the more we jail, the more we love on each other, you know, the more we make beautiful music. I try to wear me down. I just call on Jesus. All my life I've been looking for this. Even the style of music. I told them guys when I first came, when Keith first contacted me and said, hey man, I'd like for you to come and audition. When he sent me the music, and I said, hey man, who? Where, where did this come from? He said, look, we do our own material. I'm like, y'all wrote this? It was on. I was like, they put me in that band, man. I, I, I practiced and prayed. I'm like, I'm getting in this band. I can't miss this opportunity. I can't even see my life without these brothers. I really can't. Lock out the naysayers. If God has given you a vision, he's given you a purpose, it's going to be fulfilled. He didn't say when, like I said, 30 years. But I know, God, you spoke this. As far as one of the court door, I know what you said, and I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah, I said I'll go. I'll go. 
the goal that we uh, want is is perfection in God in the music. We want everything perfect for God. You know, we don't want it do it something for us. You know, everything that we want to do is for God. When we sing, you can feel the the, the presence of God in any moment. The, the the first time that you open your mind, or when you play the bass, or when you play the drum, or keyboard, you you feeling a God when we play. That is the God of our world. We continue to pray for the minister they want on call. We 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 have many something special for the people. God gives you a gift, uh, use it, you know, and, and it's for, you know, I know a lot of times we have excuses for a while, uh, you know, I would have or I should have, but if God gives you a gift, it's, it's not for you, it's for others. So you owe it to God to use your gift to bless someone else's life. I, I mean, I love doing this with one accord, and, and I think we're going to, the world is just, they're out there waiting on us, and we're going we're gonna to meet that challenge that God gave us. that I don't like, and all the rest of it, that's, 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 that's just, that's give me peace and give me joy. Breaking all this stuff down, now, man. <laughs> this is where the work is, right here. <laughs> yeah, but it was a great, it was great. I, re I really enjoyed it. And, and As for this moment, I did my service, we served the people, and we feel good inside. I know God feels good inside, and I just hope somebody got blessed from us. Man, I'm on cloud nine. This is like the energy level, man, and it's just the spirit of God that's in here, man. I just. I'm jacked up right now, man. It's gonna be hard for me to go to sleep tonight, man, but I just love doctor, doctor. doing what we do, man, and uh, it was amazing. I, I feel good, man. I, I think about the time we were here before and the group we got now, man, it's like, I mean, we were good back then, but I think we, now we're on that, that level of greatness, man, you know, and uh, I, I just love what we do, man. I pray that the people were blessed, because I was. <laughs> the music was great, atmosphere yeah. was great. The word. Brothers, boy, and everything. The word from the uh, pastors and everything was it was a wonderful night. Yeah. Wonderful night. Man, I'm ready to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> we had a fabulous time. You know, I'm, I want to keep playing. These brothers just bring it out of you, man. I hope the people was blessed. I, I, listen, I hope y'all was blessed. I'm, I'm, I'm having the time of my life. I, I, I didn't get the memo because I'm not matching with the band. I got the memo, but I misread the memo. But anyway. Praise the Lord, it was a great performance. Every, I mean, Osmani made me want to smack him in the back of the head. He was playing so good, <laughs> playing so good. Um, Keith sounded real smooth on the vocals. I mean, uh, everybody sounded great. So, great night. That's what happens when you get on one accord. <laughs>